Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I've been doing some shopping throughout the last months and I've been trying to get more to think a bit more about what I buy. So this this shopping spree is mainly of three situations. So one of them uh, was a trip that I did to France so uh, to see the PhD thesis of a one of my best friends so I bought some stuff uh, at Sephora and sent to her he sent it to her house because that Sephora does not stock a lot of things and then I also made an order from a friend of mine Marlene uh, which has a blog pretty exquisite with her sister but she went to New York and she asked oh do you need something <laughs> girl do I ever need something from New York don't we all need something from New York so I ordered also some stuff and then uh, Black Friday so yeah Black Friday slash space NK sales so this is both a haul from France <laughs> New York and <laughs> Space NK and Colourpop. So I hope you like this. I, I This is probably going to be the, the title of this. I don't know. So starting with Friends, which I think is the oldest one. I don't know. It has been a while. It has been a while. I've been having these things in boxes here at my office. So I've been looking at them every single day and picking one sometimes to use them because I couldn't resist. Come on, I'm not I'm not that good of a blogger. I'm not. I'm sorry. I'm I'm just sorry. I'm not. So starting with France, with the most unexciting thing first, I went to the pharmacy as one does. I've already bought I already I bought also a serum that I already finished. It's by Noreva, so it's a sensitive skin serum by Noreva. And I also bought two Physiogel AI. I'm always talking about this cream. This is awesome for rosacea. For rosacea and for sensitive skin in general. So I bought two, uh, two packages of this because I go through them really fast. Really. Way too fast. Actually, I think I bought three. The one I'm, wearing, I'm using right now, I think I bought also on the street. Not sure though. Can't remember right now. So yeah, I stocked up on that because it's really really cheaper in France than it is here. Also, at the pharmacy, I bought the Nux Rêve de Miel lip balm, which is a cult product everywhere. I mean, everywhere. <laughs> this sounded a lot Trumpish, didn't it? I hope not. Ugh, ew, gross. But I've already tried it. It's quite lovely and it's one of those that you have to try at some point in your life. It does smell wonderful. This was a limited edition, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if the smell is different, if it's just the packaging that is adorable. I'm not sure. But yeah, it's delicious and I love it. I do. I get the hype. It's, it tastes awesome. I also bought another lip balm. This one, I, I don't like to have the ones that you put your finger in it in your bag because come on, you're out in the street. You're your hands are your riding public transportations if you're lucky enough I'm not I'm sorry I, I have to use my own car because of my of my job and uh, you're you're walking around and stuff and touching stuff throughout the street and and then you're putting your your finger on your lips and your mouth and you're licking your lips I'm sorry it's gross it's just gross I use that one at home and I have one of these <laughs> these in my bag because I I'm like that. I'm germaphobe. I'm sorry. That's how I go. But this one is the Dermophile Indian Reparateur Appel Air Paysan Eau Tolerance. This is a stick. And it's one of my favorites. Why do you ask? Because it's matte. It's lovely. It has one of those medicated smells. Doesn't smell much. But I love this one. And it only exists in France. So I always buy it when I go there. At least one. So I have many right now, so I just bought one. So this is one of my frequent repurchases from France. And then, last but not least, from the pharmacy, I bought the other one because I forgot to take mine. And this one is the Etiaxil Deodorant. I, I didn't know this brand, I bought it because it was in stick and it was cheap. That's why I bought it. Anti-transpirant, 48 hours, anti-traces, Blanche et jaune, so it doesn't 
stain your clothes. That's what they're trying to say here. And this is actually pretty decent. I have like the most active perspiration. I like I sweat like a horse and I smell so bad usually. So for me being without the other one is a big no-no. A big no-no in general. So this one for a stick I usually use spray, not because I want to destroy the environment, because I find every other form just doesn't work with me. And this one is a pretty decent one, so if you live in France or around, this is a great deodorant. And uh, it's fairly cheap, so yeah, there, there you go. And then Sephora. Mm -hmm. Sephora France started stocking Dr. Jart before we had it here in Portugal. It's been like a week since I'm filming this that we have Dr. Jart in Portugal. So, of course, legitimately, I was completely mad about it because it's a brand I've always been curious about. It's everything I've ever wanted. It's Korean, it's medicated, it's it's awesome. Awesome, just awesome in general. So I bought a kit of masks and then the cream. What is the kit of masks, you ask? This is the Dermaclear Transform Clay Kit. It has three masks. There is a, a grey one, which is the white, they say, clean mask foaming cleanser. This one is, I don't know, I don't know, but they do, each one do a thing. <laughs> I remember the pink one was for sensitive skin, and I think the green one was for oily skin, but I can't remember because I threw out the packaging because I flew over here with just, just my carry on back so I wouldn't I wasn't going to bring stupid packaging of course. Uh, what are they? They are some clay masks like the traditional clay mask you put on your face and it dries out etc etc but but they do not dry out number one. Number two when you take them off you're supposed to foam them so they foam and you're supposed to massage them on your face. So it's a very different concept from normal clay masks and I really love the pink one because it's the less stripping one. Not, not that the... I've only tried the pink and the white one. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the green one or give them give it to someone who, who has oilier skin. But uh, as far as right now, I really love the pink one. And this is the one I would repurchase because it's so gentle. It does not strip your skin. I use them when I have... when I've been wearing really heavy makeup. And I feel like my skin gets a little bit congested and a little bit uh, too clogged up. It's very good for that. It's not too foaming, it's not too aggressive. It's a lovely product. Way, way, way awesomer than <laughs> awesomer. That's not a word. <laughs> way more awesome than most of the Western clay masks that I've tried in my life right now. So yeah, the cream that I bought is this one. This, this uh, contraption is actually super cool. This is the Ceramidin uh, cream by Dr. Jart too and I haven't used this yet but I've used the sample and it's pretty darn awesome. I think I haven't used it. Oh, oh I have. I have used this. I'm lying. I'm sorry. I've used, I think I've used it in France actually and this is awesome. It's so good that I bought the rest of the line. It's not that much expensive um, and this one is actually, this part is actually to twist the tube, the aluminum tube. It's a very smart contraption, simple but smart in my humble opinion. And I do love this for a uh, combination to dry skins. This is a lovely cream. This has ceramidin which is one of the fats that we have uh, naturally present in our skin that our skin produces. That's why there's a whole line dedicated to ceramides, cer ceramides, ceramides. I can do it. I can do it. And this one is the cream as a soul liquid. And I tried a sample of the liquid in France. I loved it, and I ordered it from the from eBay the next day because I like that. But yeah, I really, really, really cannot recommend this cream enough. It's lovely. It's amazing. It's. Oh, everything I've ever wanted. I'm going to repurchase this a lot now that it's it's been stuck through Portugal. Um, I'm crazy. I'm crazy right now. Last but not least from France. The thing I'm wearing on my lips right now. This is the By Terry Rouge Expert Click Stick and this is the new generation of 
by Terry Lipsticks and it's like this. I hope this focus. And the applicator has the exact shape to contour your lips very easily. And besides that, it only dispenses product when you click it. Just don't click it very much though because uh, you cannot retract it back. So once you click it and it's out, it's out forever. But this is a very hygienic way to use lipstick. The applicator is awesome and the formula, oh my god. I've never tried anything like this. It's amazing. It's like the smoothest texture of a matte lip ever. It's matte as you can see right now but it feels like a lip balm it's <sighs> i can't i can't deal with this texture i already have another one because <laughs> now we have also my terry portugal <laughs> oh praise the gods of makeup and i love this so 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 much i really really cannot recommend it enough if you have a lipstick collection of a crazy person like moi you need this in your life because None of your lipsticks are like this. I can, I can guarantee you, none of the lipsticks you own are like this. Just, just try it. And if I'm, if I'm not right, please comment below. And if I'm right too, please, I, I like to hear I'm right. <laughs> comment below saying, yeah, it is. It is the angels, but stroking, my, stroking my, stroking, stroking my lips. So yeah, please do yourself a favor and. Try the Rouge Expert click stick. Now, for the New York portion of this video, we have, first of all, a bike product because one does not simply have a friend going to the Northern American side of things and not buy bike lipsticks because uh, we don't have them here and we want to have them here. So, yeah. Uh, this is not a lipstick actually, this is the new, newish uh, multi stick. And I bought the color Lotus, mainly because I want to use it as a blush, because I love this color for blush. I'm going to show you. This is actually a stick that is supposed to be uh, whatever you want, either, either a lipstick or a blush or an eyeshadow. You can use it every and anywhere. And it's so good! Come on! This is so lovely. Have you seen the pigment? This is one stroke. Maybe two. But... Come on, the pigmentation is awesome. It smokes out beautifully on the lips. This is not my favorite color because it's a very uh, 60s palish pink, but it's lovely on the cheeks. And I could use it as an eyeshadow if I wanted to pretend like I have pink eye. And so good. I want other more vers versatile colors right now because I'm in love with this one. I bought this because Katie Jane Hughes, which is a um, an awesome makeup artist on Instagram, she's always recommending these, so I bought it and I love it. I want more now and I can't have it and it's very, very sad. So very, very sad. And then the brand that everyone and their dog is talking about, Glossier. I wanted the skincare, I wanted to review the skincare for you on my blog, but they were out of stock of basically everything. So that pissed me off. The only thing I was able to buy uh, or to <laughs> for my lamp to buy because she's awesome. I love you. Thank you. Really, thank you. She she did a lot. She's she's the bestest of all friends. <laughs> yeah, but she ordered this one for me. Uh, this is the GlossierMintBalm.com. It's once again a lip balm. There's three lip balms. We're going in three three at this part. This is the last one actually. <laughs> This is a minty lip balm. It's very tingly, so you feel your, your lips planting a bit. But I, I don't care about the planting effect. I couldn't give a rat's about that. I really want the mintiness. I love mint. Like, if you don't want like aggressive mint, don't go for this one because it's really tingly and really good. I love it. But uh, I do love mint, so this is for me. It's, it's the dream. The dream right now. Um, yeah, I, I like this one. It's, it's no big deal though. Come on. It's, it's good. It's a good lip balm, it's a solid lip balm, but come on, this has castor oil, uh, petrolatum ricinius communis seed oil, actually castor seed oil, beeswax, lanolin flavor, come on, and the rest are antioxidants for the, for the fat, it's not, for the fat not to, not to go bad. 
it's no big deal, it's good, but uh, not worth all the hype about around this, come on, this is, you have this in Lionel Lips, you have this in Aquaphor, you have this in many, many other lip balms, it's good, but not worth the extreme hype it's, it has. Next, one of my bucket list products, we all have a bucket list product, I think, we all think, I'm not gonna die until I use that product. I have I have a huge bucket list, so I hope that delays my time of death. That will be cool. But um, yeah, I, I I ordered two. I, I asked for two um, bucket list products. One of them is this one. This is the Kogendo. Kogendo. I'm murdering this aqua foundation. This is one of the most hyped foundations out the face at the face of the earth. Then it's mine right now. I love it so much. And it is, it is awesome. Uh, and I do, I do want it for the rest of my life. Probably not gonna happen because it's really hard to get your hands on this in Portugal. But yeah, it's lovely. I, of course, I'm going to spam you with a review and all that because I'm in love with this. So you're gonna hear about it a lot more than you want to. I'm sorry. That's how how it rolls. Another bucket list product. I am. I know, I know. This is the Clé de Peau uh, Beauté Correcteur Visage Concealer. And you're thinking, girl, you must be earning a lot of money to spend 70 bucks on a concealer. No, I'm not. I'm just crazy. <laughs> no, let, let's just say that this stuff from New York was my Christmas gift to myself because I've been a good girl. Yeah. It was, it was. This is the Clad Pro Concealer. This is one of the most hyped concealers at the face of the earth too. It's like this, it comes in a stick and I thought, I'm not gonna love it. I'm just gonna try it because I've always wanted to try it. I'm not gonna love it though, I love it. I love it. I'm also going to review it at some point. Is it worth the 70 bucks? I don't know. Do you appreciate angel's wings stroking your in the right area? Do you appreciate? Looking like you've slept 12 hours every single day? Is that something that tickles your pickle? If it is, maybe, maybe 70 bucks are worth it. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just crazy, which is the most likely thing. I hope, I, I think so at least. Next, Space NK did a sale as they do, the naughty naughty ones. Space NK has the capacity of, uh, on the night of the 24th here in, in Portugal, we have the Christmas dinner and all the families together at the table and I'm like underneath the table, I'm with my cell phone browsing the Space NK sale, like seeing if something's worth, worth my money. It usually is. And I bought something I've been wanting for a while. This is the By Terry Sun Designer Palette and it's pretty darn awesome. It comes with one of these useless sleeves, which I trash. I'm sorry, I have no use for that in my life. And this is the most gorgeous palette at the face of the earth. Come on, come on, it's beautiful. Here you have the bronzing side and here you have the blush side and these colors you see right here are the colors that are going to end up on your face. It's lovely. I'm also going to review it at some point. I love it. It's so good. It's so good. And yeah, I, I do have a crush on By Terry. If she pays me, no, she doesn't. She doesn't. I pay her. It's it's quite different. I, I pay her to talk about this stuff because it's dead. And I'm a fan girl, so yeah, I buy anything she makes and uh, I rarely come out disappointed, very rarely, it only happened once. Then Colourpop had their uh, Black Friday sale and also they had free shipping. Woohoo! And we have a problem here in Portugal with our customs. If your packaging is uh, on a value above 22 euros, you get uh, taxed. So, on your 22, you're okay. So I did my order on 20 bucks because yeah, one does. And I bought a lip a lippy sticks, uh, and in the color booty, it's a matte texture. This is a very orangey red, and the texture is just beautiful. It's so pretty. I love it so much. And I already had one lippy sticks, and this one is just oh, it's so good, like so beautiful. And then 
one eyeshadow in the color it's a super shock shadow in the color mixtape this is a taupey color with a bit a bit a bit of sheen through it it's a mauve a mauve tone with a slight shimmer colder shimmer running through it it's a beautiful beautiful eyeshadow and this is one of one of the ones i bought this mixtape one and then I also bought this one in So Quiche, which is a very unique shade. I've never seen anything like this. It doesn't look like much. It looks like a greenish something in the camera, I think. But it's actually a an army greenish tone with some purple going through it. And it's pretty cool, in my humble opinion. I have no idea what color is coming through on the skin, on the screen. But this is a beautiful eyeshadow and it's very unique. I tried to buy the most unique or what I think is unique from, from Colourpop because they do have some beautiful shades but uh, you can't buy them all at the same time, right? Uh, <laughs> Last but not least, I bought the Super Shock Shadow in Bay, which I hate the name. Bay, it's stupid, it's one of those new internet languages that pisses me off. Oh my god, Bay! Oh my god, so on fleek, hashtag on fleek. I hate that. Stop it. That's stupid. Come on. You know you're stupid. You know it. You know it. When you, don't you feel stupid when you say that stuff? I hope you do. This one's called Bay. Yeah, but it's beautiful. I don't care about the name. And uh, this is actually something on the lines of blue-brown pigment. It's a very dark purple, but it has some some green running through it. It's a very beautiful shade right here. So you can see all three of them and the lippy sticks and the other one. So yeah, I blew up all my money on makeup, uh -huh. but I'm so happy about it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, I shouldn't have. But what other thing makes you so happy as makeup? So yeah, I haven't been buying makeup in the last few months because of this. Because one can only do such hauls from time to time, of course. I hope you liked this one. If you did, thumbs it up. And also leave a comment down below if you liked it. I really, really appreciate your comments. I reply to all of them as soon as I get them. Sometimes I forget one and then I'll reply four months later. But I will reply. I will reply though. <laughs> also subscribe if you like this video because the insanity keeps going for me. Have a nice one. Hope to see you next time. And thanks for watching once again. Bye.